Jojo Mayer. Welcome to Beated.tv, the Polish drummer's website. Thank you very much for taking time to talk to us, especially on this busy day with a busy schedule. Yeah. Uh, so, if you could tell our viewers uh, why you're here and what you're doing today in Wrocław, Poland. Oh, well, the promoter of the event, uh, Bond, uh, I've been collaborating with him for a very long time, about 10 years, and also uh, uh, the former producer, uh, Roly Mosimon, who I worked with for many, many years in New York, uh, has been living here for a couple of years. So at the occasion of a Bond is organizing the festival, he invited us to, uh, to come here and play a show with my band Nerf and also a collaboration with uh, some other artists that we're going to see what, how it's going to play out. With. And uh, it's, it's a great location. We play at the opera, but we don't play, the, the audience is actually on stage with us, which is nice. Exactly. So yeah. This is a, a reversed kind of a situation, right? The band is uh, in the audience and the audience is going to be standing on stage, right? How was the rehearsals today? What did you think of that kind of configuration? Oh, it was interesting. You know, it was more like uh, we tried to, you know, uh, calibrate and navigate with the sound and stuff like that. You know? So we didn't really play, you know, work on musical concepts. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. It's a very improvisational and a lot of surprises, I guess. You know. Uh, did you think maybe of uh, maybe utilizing some unusual stuff in your arsenal of instruments just for this unusual occasion, like a different type of cymbals or something like that? No, no, I use the same stuff that I use mm -hmm. with my group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Nerve is, as I've been following, you know, on on the internet, Nerve is on tour right now, right? Uh, is uh, how much of it is it already through and uh, what's going to happen next with Nerve or your solo stuff? Okay, well this is actually the last gig of this, uh, it was a very short tour, like we, we toured Europe earlier, uh, we're going back to New York and uh, we're, we're working on another record right now and uh, uh, I also I made a movie with uh, Charlie Yuki astronaut uh, from Apollo 17 that is going to premiere next week so the band is also to a certain degree involved into that uh, project so we're going to play some shows in New York and then uh, in uh, December we are going to tour in Asia and what's happening next with your solo stuff like clinics or you know uh, those kinds of events well, um, I'm not really doing a lot of clinics these days, you know, I, 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 cause there's so much other things happening right now, production, I, I do movie soundtracks, I'm, I'm working on another movie about uh, architecture uh, uh, this winter, uh, but I, I got to do, I will do a solo performance and a, a lecture at the Wired event in London on uh, November, second I think second or third so which is more like uh, like a keynote speech and a demonstration of uh, some of the concept that come from you know in the face of like robotization that uh, our society is facing and which is something that uh, this is something that I faced 20 years or every drummer faced about 25 years ago or 30 years ago when like drum machines came so to find a way how to deal with uh, the imminent replacement by a machine you know is a limit on the on the core of my philosophy and you know negotiate what it means or uh, how legitimate it is to be a human performer or and, uh, how long this is still valid before we're going to be replaced by a machine. You think it's inevitable? Actually. I'm sorry? You think it's inevitable, the fact that we're going to be it, replaced? Well, it depends on what you do, you know, I think 
taxi drivers are going to be replaced. Uh, people that work on banks are going to be replaced. You know. What about drummers? Well, it really depends on what it is that you do with the drums. You know, I, I, I think um, the drums is a communication instrument. You know, if you communicate something and you, it's just an instrument really. It, it depends on what you do with it. And, and you know, like the drums always changed over the course of like say like the last 100 years, you know, I mean, the drum is very, very old. It's as old as civilizations, like the wheel, as long as language as we have drums, but the drum set is a very particular instrument that kind of came with economic and cultural changes in like America. So uh, first, we didn't have a drum set, but we have a snare drum player and a cymbal player and the bass drum player and with the dance bands and then with vaudeville, it was consolidated to a single person that played all the different instruments. So that was kind of like the beginning of the drum set and William F. Lodovic uh, kind of mass produced the first bass drum pedal, which was really the birth of like the, the drum set. But then vaudeville uh, had a crisis because of Hollywood, because of a silent movie. So drummers were out of their jobs. And then drummers find a new job, not playing in the orchestral pit, but playing for silent movies, making like the sounds. So like the drum set started to grow and they had temple blocks where they imitate like the horses galloping like and, and guns and stuff like that. And, and you know, all these things became a part of like the, the, the arsenal of like the drummer and then when movies started to have sound when with the with the innovation of like sound recording that job became obsolete but then with sound recording and radio it was the birth of like jazz so the the, the whole creativity um, somehow reincarnated in in this art form so and it is always going like drums is a very modern instrument so now we're at the crossroads, we're, we're entering the technological age where we have to think about, okay, with electronic drums, you know, I mean, to have electronic drums assimilate the setup of a, an acoustic drum set is kind of stupid, you know, like it's a, it's a limitation, as there was much more things that we could do. So where it's going to go is, has only to do, not with the limitations or the possibilities of like technology, but more with our imagination on where we want to take it, you know, so that's, we will see where it's going to go. Do you think there is hope though <laughs> for the future? Well, if, if, I, if there was not hope, I would not make an interview with you, but I would kind of hang at the beach or watch television, you know. True. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> you know? I agree. So there is hope. <laughs> yes. <Well>. Good. <laughs> Look, yeah. the, okay. A lot of things are going to change, right? But there's some things we will not change. You know, one of the things is like our need to communicate. You know, and uh, as I'm saying, like, drums is a communication instrument. And um, as long as if we use it to communicate something, uh, and if we communicate something important, that uh, if we share, you know, let's sh if we share, you know. Uh, the bad things about life, or the good things about life, or the funny things, or the ironic things, or the political things, or the beauty, or the ugly. But as long as we share, and we share, we make it interesting to share, someone will want to listen to us, because one of the main reasons for music to exist is because it makes f people feel less lonely, you know, it, it unites people. So. Uh, uh, if we are able to do that with with, with drumming, then uh, I think uh, we do something. We build something cultural. You know, uh, uh, if we're going the athletic avenue of like you know being the fastest or most vocabulary or these tangible things, then I think the drum set will die very soon, you know. Uh, I don't think anyone will be interested in it anymore. I mean, w what's happening right now, you know, I'm, I, it's it's a big crisis, you know, like um, there's, there are no more bands, you know, and people don't know how to communicate with each other, so they play on YouTube, make 
place slip knot covers and stuff like that you know and, uh, because they haven't really found out uh, or they they don't have the confidence to create something new you know? and uh, we live in a you know in a, in a cultural climate of extreme insecurity culturally you know people are very insecure about they you know they they need reconfirmation by you know how many likes do i have you know and they 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 feel they don't have a sense of self value and you know this is what music is about you know and uh, you have to take a stance and go like this is what rock and roll is about you go like oh i don't like this i want to change this you know and that's what that's what rock and roll is so we need a little bit of this you know <laughs> It's true. And as even, you know, when talking to pros, especially drummers, they say, oh, there's not enough work for us in America. We have to go over to Europe or Japan or, or Asia to work. European drummers dreaming of going to America and work, you know, and stuff. So there's lots of confusion even in that. Well, look, you know, uh, you have to change things now you know you know there is one thing like you know i think the music industry is finished is finished what what we experience right now is an echo of the 20th century we don't really have a music business we have uh, some weird thing you know like and uh, real art is not happening there you know we don't have people in mainstream culture that are like David Bowie or Pink Floyd or Frank Zappa, or pushing Rogers. the limits, changing the yeah the situation. I mean, you know, we there are some people, you know, like like James Blake, you know, but 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 the, the mainstream is not like this anymore. Like the mainstream is really plastic right now. So we need something like rock and roll again, you know, and and I think a true artist never adapts. A true artist, a, 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 a true artist don't adapt to the world. A true artist changes the world. So we need the people with confidence wherever they are. They don't have to be in New York. They can be in Krakow or in Dusseldorf or in in the small city to find people to build communities and and find solutions. You know for it. And I think the drums is a is a good way to do it. You know it's just. Maybe it's going to be different than what we did last century, but to hit something and create a reaction, I think still works, you know. Okay. Don't want to take up any more of your time because the show is coming up very soon. So thank you for this insight and hopefully we'll see you okay, some other you. time. Thank you.